Hi, my name is Grace Shalom Hopkins and welcome back to another episode of Spin Weekly. This is the kickoff to the official spinning part of the spring spin along here at Spin Weekly. We are going to be discussing my thoughts and inspiration and ideas behind my spin and some ideas for your spin. That was not an eloquent sentence. All right, so the inspiration behind the kit is artichokes, which are really like modular. And Amanda chose this to hearken the Patreon, which I was launching during the spring spin along, which is so cool. So I really wanted to like capture that modular feeling. And so I trolled ro roving blah, blah, Ravelry to find a modular shawl. Current me does not remember the name of it, but past me, past me will remember. Um, if you're a member of the Patreon, I've already linked it, so you might remember that. So the way this shawl kind of was constructed is there was a sort of fan structure and then a border around it, and that just built and built and built and built in a modular kind of way, like dragon scales or artichokes. The border immediately made me have an idea for the roving. I wanted to create a strong, semi-solid border that would be a framework for the gradient to sit inside of. Now, this is how I approach spinning a lot of times. I come up with a pattern that inspires me and spin to fit that pattern, kind of, as an inspiration. But I rarely ever actually make the pattern or even end up wanting to make the pattern that I used as a first jumping point. So in no way am I spinning to fit this pattern whatsoever. The weight alone of this yarn is not going to work. So I was really inspired by the Merch Paradise Fiber, Fiber of the Month Club box. So I took that merino and that bamboo and combined it with some green fire star from Emily of Bricolage Studios. Uh, yeah. And carded those into a bat. And I'll go into more detail in the bat prep video. So I spun that with the roving and I will go into more detail on how I did that in those videos which are all coming. With the bat, I spun it as a gradient bat, and then I ended up spiral plying it with a single from that same plain merino roving, and I'll go more into detail in that video. <laughs> but my inspiration was from this shawl, and I wanted to create a gradient and a frame to fit that gradient into. So I think it went really well. I'm going to be giving it to my mother to weave because I think I think the texture of the spiral plied gradient with the singles will be, or the singles, with the roving will be really fantastic. I don't necessarily think it is best suited to knitting in this case. As for some ideas that I had for alternate spins. I wrote them down here in my blue magic marker. Yeah. So I have some ideas on ways that you could spin this and use them as a jumping point for your own brilliant ingenuity. You could of course spin it end to end, both the bat and the roving. You could ply them together. You could two ply them separately. You could ply them with uh, another fiber similar to what I did, like a roving in a another colorway, or a natural colored sheep, or maybe a neutral, or a purple, whatever you get the idea. You could in ply them. Another thing you could do is you could ply the bat and the roving together which is what I really wanted to do but did not do. <laughs> For the Cormo cohorts, I wrote out a self-striping recipe card, but just kind of as a basic 
you could divide the bat into colors and then lay that out and in between those color changes put in hunks of the roving and then leave it a single or in play it or even mirror those two so that's that's an option because i'm a big fan of taking stuff apart and putting it back together you could co-draft them together or you could co-draft them with another fiber you could split the bat into individual color families and then put the roving you know match that portion of roving to bat so they're of equal amounts you know what i'm trying to say and then card them together to create a another type of co-drafting i guess a more blended look i would warn against over blending that though be careful with that you could also put that on your blending board and make rolex you could follow the monet effect or gradient from none recipe in my book roving and take that concept of taking apart the roving and carding it into a gradient um, and then plying that roving gradient with the bat that's another cool idea so there's lots of different ideas that i came up with and hopefully you are inspired by that i did not go into detail on how to do each of those steps because i want you to use your imagination and also that would take a really long time to explain and they're already in my books and my recipe cards which like i said are linked down below so the whole point of this is for you to feel inspired and empowered to spin the yarn that you want from the fiber that you love and i think we can all agree that we love the spin along kit now it's time for you to spin a yarn that makes you just over the moon <laughs> so i will see you next time with the more technical demo videos until then like this video if you liked it comment with the inspiration that you have for this kit what kind of ideas are you coming up with even if you're not planning on spinning those share it with the world and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the shenanigans that we have here on spin weekly